At San Diego Gas and Electric, we are especially mindful of the fire risk across California. So be safe, let's have a good week. Well, I know wildfires are always going to be a challenge at SDG&E. Every person, every man, every woman, every leader is focused on safety. I'm very excited about the new technologies that SDG&E is using for the wildfire safety. SDG&E was the first utility to build its own large weather network. A decade ago, we were holding weather stations in the, in the air, measuring it with our hand, and now we have the most sophisticated weather network that exists at any utility anywhere in the world. Our weather network reported information every 10 minutes. Now we've upgraded that to every 30 seconds, and we're learning so much more. We're now going to be using cameras to look at uh, the quality of vegetation on the ground. Cameras that can sense the amount of chlorophyll in the vegetation. And this feeds into our fuel modeling. And AI is giving us the power now to be very precise on where and when Santa Ana winds will be at their strongest. So instead of just simply relying on a forecast that's just basically historical around conditions, we actually will model it. And the reason why that's important is now I can take a look as we're looking uh, across our system with really great specificity, do we see the chances of winds and wind speeds and conditions on the ground being so extreme that we have to consider cutting power? Satellite data has been a big part of our wildfire mitigation and situational awareness platform now for close to a decade. But 10 years ago, we were getting two images a day. Now we can get an image every minute. We now use it to measure the amount of moisture that's in the fuels, and we can also use it to detect wildfires. And that's just not ignitions on SDG&E's equipment, that's ignitions anywhere in our operating footprint across the entire county. Every minute, we scan all the images coming from the satellites, and then we sync that and we get alerts on our phones within minutes of hotspots being detected from satellites. Even with all of our advancements, there are weather conditions in which the fire risk remains so high that the power must be turned off for some customers as a last resort to ensure public safety. When we look at all the weather information we have and evidence shows us that if a fire starts, it's going to grow dangerously. We get the best, most informed weather data that we can, and then that helps drive public safety power shutoff. So new this year, we have a mobile battery that we're deploying for the first time as part of our wildfire mitigation efforts. And we can deploy this wherever our customers need backup power, whether that be at a community resource center or other critical facilities. It also has onboard EV charging so that customers who otherwise have experienced a public safety power shutoff at their house can come to the mobile battery and charge their EV. Conditions are gonna change throughout a red flag warning event. And so you really need the flexibility to deploy these resources where they make sense. Our community public safety partners are very important to us. We would not have succeeded in, in becoming leaders in wildfire safety in our community and in this industry without them. Both San Diego Gas and Electric and the American Red Cross are focused on our community, on making sure our community is the most prepared community in the country. And it really takes multiple agencies, multiple organizations partnering together to make sure that happens. The thing I think I'm proudest of is a relationship that San Diego Gas and Electric and 2-in-1 San Diego has as we've evolved as agencies and we continue to come together and cooperate for one common goal, and that's service to the public when they need it. Having the consistency and continuity of a 14-year-long relationship with SDG&E for the Intertribal Long-Term Recovery Foundation has really been invaluable. The information that SDG&E shares about community preparedness, such as wildfire safety, um, energy line safety, and building community resilience is really important for tribal communities to hear and to learn and be educated about. Educational awareness is really important to our tribal communities. I, I don't think that people realize how um, reliant they are on power. And being able to provide literature to our community that we're able to publish and send out to our tribal members has been uh, really helpful. 
We have over 700 miles of power lines that we have hardened against high wind speeds. We were installing steel poles instead of wood poles so that we can withstand the winds, have more separation between the wires so the wires don't slap together and cause any fire risk. Covered conductor is just that bare wire with cover on it that enables us to have additional wildfire mitigation. Strategic undergrounding is basically bringing in overhead power lines and burying them underground so that the wind doesn't knock them down. Since we can't underground everything at the same time, we focus on those critical facilities so that the community still have a place to go despite the fact that there's issues with their power at home. We are integrating renewable energy solutions like community microgrids that can keep critical facilities up and running during a power shutoff. These are batteries and they're bringing our customers clean energy during an outage. The development of innovative technology has been a game changer for SDG&E and our communities. And as we continue to pioneer and utilize advanced technologies, our commitment to sustainability is really built in everything that we do. And so one of the really cool innovations was the use of drones. And last year we inspected over 30,000 poles using drones. Inspecting our infrastructure, our poles, is really one of the most critical things that has to be done to assure the safety and functioning of, of those structures. And now those drones are taking pictures and videos and actually providing them to those same linemen, those qualified electrical workers, and they're finding and discovering things in real time that help us make our system much safer. The virtual reality training program is going to just lead to so many advancements in our, how we train people. It allows employees to play with different situations without having to go out there in real time on the actual power line equipment so that they have better understanding of the risks that can occur and address them quicker. One of the most exciting things unique to, to this company, unique to our industry, is the construction of our own private communication network. Well, as we are innovating and pushing technologies and getting more and more data available, we have to have our own system so that we can guarantee that traffic, that data gets back to our decision makers, to our engineers, to our operators, timely and reliably. And what this does for us is it opens up a lot of options for putting a lot more equipment and devices that can give us the situation awareness and other needs around wildfire safety. And one of the really advanced things that sdg &E has pioneered is really the falling conductor program. And what that uses is technologies to actually determine that a line has broken while it's still in the air and rapidly cut the power off of that line before it hits the ground to reduce that chance of any ignition. It is some of the best technology available in the industry. Well, certainly not high tech, one of the really cool innovative things going on this year is actually using goats to, to trim the grass and remove some of the fuel from underneath our power lines. I think the most important component of our wildfire safety is all the people behind it and how committed Everybody is day in and day out to making sure that we're operating as safely as we can. The people that I work with and the team that I have are looking and finding ways how we can lessen wildfire risk. Our entire culture of the company is focused around wildfire safety because that is the number one priority for us and we're trying to keep our community safe. The safety of our customers, our employees, and the communities that we serve is our absolute highest priority.